How's it going, Joe Minions? I'm Joe Warlock. Hola. Welcome to another episode of Unboxing Things. And this one is Z-Box. Yes, the longest running box on this channel, I think, which is insane. 1999, UK company, ships worldwide. The theme this month is Heroes. Heroes could literally be anything. There's so many heroes. There's been Wonder Woman and the, the Avengers, and then you've got the Justice League, which, I don't know, Cyborg still looks awful, but that's just me. There's loads. There's um, Exo Man of War. He's really popular. It could be Spawn. could be anything. It's a huge, huge theme. Not the most original, but vast. So there's a lot of stuff they could put in here. So hopefully they'll surprise us, but probably not. Let's cut it open and see what we have. Right. Item number one is a t-shirt with something on what on earth? Um, this actually took me a minute, as you may have noticed, to work out. Because I'm an idiot. It is Superman. Uh, that's his uh, Fortress of Solitude. Which, it doesn't actually look like a fortress. It looks like a bunch of icicles. Which, I guess essentially it is. And to be honest, how scary is a Fortress of Solitude? What? What's your home base called? The Fortress of Solitude is where I go to just sit alone and be boring. It's an okay t-shirt, I just... it's... It's nothing outstanding. It's nice colours, but... I don't know, I've seen better. I just... It's very plain. But as always, it's about a tenner. Next item is... Oh, we have a badge. Oh, okay. Not quite Exo Man of War, but... The same company that actually wrote that comic, Valiant. These are pretty cool. Uh, if my memory serves me right, it wasn't just Exo Man and War, they also did Shadow Man, which was uh, turned into a game on the N64 and the PlayStation and the PC. Brilliant game, it's really old and it's very dated now, but it's fantastic if you ever get to play it. But they created that character as well, amongst many others. So yeah, it's a Valiant Comics badge. It's like they've had a massive resurgence. Not complaining. Moving on with item number three, which feels odd, and it's a... not a mug and I brought this on myself. In a video a while back I went mad at a mug and said what I wouldn't give for a spoon or a bowl and all my wishes have come true. I've got a cereal bowl. A porcelain <laughs> Spider-Man cereal bowl. There he is. Spider-Man of course, Peter Parker from way back in 1962 and uh, the new guy seems to be doing a good job of him. It's a bowl, it's useful. Ceramic bowl. Um, I'm not gonna complain at that. I actually do need bowls, because I've trashed most of mine, because I'm just a useless human being when it comes to dishes. I just smash them instead of washing them, apparently. But still, Marvel Comics, Spider-Man bowl. Not bad, it's something different, and it's usable, and I'm kind of liking the usable items right now. So okay, I'll let you have this one. Move on with more things, and this is item number four. Ooh, it's a, it's, oh, it's a statue, or a model, or a thing I've already got. Ugh, everybody's favorite trash panda, Q-Fig, Rocket Raccoon. And there he is, Rocket Raccoon, with Groot. Q-Figs are awesome, I love them more than Funko Pops because of the way they're styled. I know a lot of people are going off Q-Figs a little bit in boxes because they seem to be in every box. But I just think they look better than Funko Pops currently. Just just saying. But yeah, this is Rocket Raccoon and Groot. But I already have this because I've had it from another box and I don't remember which one it was. So, somewhere in my collection. There we go. So this is Rocket Raccoon and Groot I got from another box, I think. But it is very cool. You can see Groot on his head looking awesome. Rocket doing what he does, just shooting people. There's like a smashed up ship around him. Very detailed, very well painted. I like the style of these, they're just they're very cool, they're very awesome little things. Uh, now I have two, so that's going to go to one of my Patreons, I think. Let's move on. Let's continue with item number five, and it is... Oh, okay. I think this is from Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns comic, which is very cool. It is a Superman Funko Pop, Batman The Dark Knight Returns. That's pretty awesome. And on the back, we have Batman, Armored Batman, Armored Batman Unmasked, Superman, Carrie, Kelly Robin, and the Joker. This is cool. It's from a very cool story, so I'm actually quite happy I've got this. But let's get him on the little spinny disc of joy, see what he looks like. So 
So that was the Heroes theme, but let's recap and see everything we got in that box. A Superman figure from Batman The Dark Knight Returns. The, I'm sure it's a Frank Miller comic, which is very cool. I like that pop. It's a little different and a bit more detailed than the usual ones. Not bad at all. Got ourselves a cereal bowl. Can't complain about a cereal bowl. Who doesn't like cereal? I like cereal. And now I can eat it in a Spider-Man bowl, like a big kid. I'm actually not going to complain at that. It's not a mug and it's useful. So fair play. Valiant little pin brooch. That's not bad. Usually they're just like a pin brooch with like a picture of the Hulk or a camera or something rubbish. But this is actually Valiant. And I like that. It's not bad. So, okay. Pretty good. I already own this, but the Q fig of Rocket Raccoon and Groot. Awesome. Love the Q figs. They just, they look better than the pop vinyl figures just because of the posing and the sort of, yeah, the action pose of them. Very cool, like it. And the t-shirt. Personally, I think the t-shirt is the weakest item, but uh, it's subtle, and subtle is sometimes good. So I'm not going to say it's terrible, because it's not a bad t-shirt. So yeah, t-shirt, tenor. Q-fig, tenor upwards. Pop vinyl is usually a tenor upwards. Um, that, two quid. This, fiver. So yeah, monetary-wise, if you're buying these all separate, You've got your value there. Actual value for you. The pop, pretty good. Q-fig, excellent. T-shirt, somewhat. The bowl's useful, and I like the pit. I like all of that stuff. The T-shirt's the thing I like the least, but I like all the rest, although I have already got this. So, as I said, that can go to a Patreon. But still, monetary value is there, and I think the actual item, personal value, is there. So yeah, I think this was worth it this month, to be honest, if you like those kind of things. But it depends. I know some people are going to go, a bowl? I don't want a bowl. I want a giant magnetic starfish. But it's pretty good value just with those two items. So I can't complain. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comments. What do you think of Z-Box? What do you think of the theme heroes? What's good? What's bad? What could be better? Let me know down below. Next month's theme is chaos. That's a new theme. That could be awesome. And I'm expecting something from V from Vendetta. Because if you don't, why are you doing a theme of chaos? If you want to grab yourself a Z-Box, I will leave links and discount codes down below. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, because it really helps me out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime, though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.